Let a, b, and c be integers. If a divides b and b divides c, then a divides c. In other words, the relation divides is a transitive relation. How do we prove this? We'll be going over that in today's Wrath of Math lesson. This is a straightforward proof that basically requires applying the definition of divides three times. Definitely recommend giving it a try yourself before watching the rest of the lesson. Hopefully you've done that. We'll go ahead and jump into the proof. For starters, of course, we suppose the hypothesis of the result we want to prove. We suppose that A divides B and that B divides C. Of course, we're also assuming that A, B, and C are integers. A good place to really start our proof is to take note of what these definitions mean. What do we actually know about A and B and C? Since A divides B, that means by definition, there's some integer we'll call K that we can multiply A by in order to get B. So A times K equals B for some integer K. That is the definition of divides. If A divides B, B must equal A times K for some integer K. A similar thing, of course, is true with B and C. Since B divides C, there must be some integer we'll call J that we can multiply by B in order to get the number C. So C is equal to B times J for some integer J. A good thing to be aware of when you're starting to learn proofs is what would the final line of your proof look like? What sort of equality would you need to get to prove your desired result? We want to prove that A divides C. In order to prove that, we would need to show that there's some number, maybe M, an integer M, that when multiplied by A, gives us C. And right now, we're getting pretty close. We just need to do some substitution. Because we know that B times J is equal to C, but we also know that B is equal to A times K. So how about, in this equation, we replace B with A times K. Doing that substitution, we have that A times K times J is equal to C. Then, since multiplication is associative, we could rewrite this as A times K times J is equal to C because the parentheses don't change the product. And this, my friends, is basically what we want. We know that K times J is an integer because the integers are closed under multiplication. If we multiply two integers, like K and J, we'll get another integer. Thus, we've just shown that there does exist an integer, this one K times J, that when multiplied by A, gives us a product of C, which is what we wanted. A times some integer is equal to C. We have just proven that. Thus, by definition of divides, this means that A does indeed divide C. And that's the proof. So if we have three integers, A, B, and C, and we know that A divides B and B divides C, then it must be the case that A divides C. Here's an example of this theorem in action. We know that three divides six. We also know that six divides 18. So since the relation divides is transitive, which is what we just proved, we know that three must divide 18. But taking this step by step, we see we can multiply three by two in order to get six. We can multiply six by three in order to get 18. In the context of our proof, two is our k integer and three is our j. Three also happens to be our a value, six is our b value, and 18 is our c value. Remember, our proof ended showing that if we multiply k times j times a, we will get c. Looking back at our problem, if we multiply two times three times three, which is also our a value, we should get c, which is 18. And indeed we do. Take our a value of three, multiply by k times j, which is two times three, this should be equal to 18, which it is. This is three times six. That is absolutely equal to 18. So that's the proof and that's the theorem in action. Hope this video helped you understand how to prove this fun little result about the divides relation. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other lesson requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. My
Plutonian dream is a hellfire home. The earth imploded to dust and left me to fall.